hello, hello. I have come to share some journals first of all today and then I'm going to share a couple of kits with you and I'll show you the kind of idea and concept behind one of them. Um, I have five journals um, so I cannot do a flip through of all five. Um, I'm going to show you the front covers first. Um, this is journal A. It's quite a grungy cover but I just loved the title of this one and I like the feel of it. So um, this is journal number one. I'll do a, an inside flip shortly and just stand that without it falling over. Um, this is journal B. This is a journal C. True story from English history. I love that cover. Um, this is journal D. And I love this cover too. I have a thing for red as you can probably... Um, tell and this is journal E this one is slightly bigger um, uh, yeah it's just slightly bigger I can tell you the sizes um, all of the other uh, all of the four journals are the same they are about seven and a half inches by four and three quarter inches and that doesn't include the spine um, and they are all journals A and B are a one inch spine and all the rest are one and a quarter, but they have the same pages in them. Um, they, they do have the same pages. Okay, so I'm going to show you journal A um, and I've done the same for all of these. This is the only one, with, this one's got a number one in, this is the only one that had something pretty at the front, so I didn't want to cover it up. So for journal number, for journal A, I put the library card at the back. I made library cards for each book. It's called Three for Luck and the author. So I've done a library card for each one. And in the pocket, there's also a little divider. I've just grunged up the pocket for that. So I'll do a quick flip through of this. Um, it's all vintage book pages, very similar to the previous one. I've got one of the little um, paper clips there with a little tag in there or ticket. Slot pocket with a large label, um, a ticket, um, a little thing there. I'm not sure what that is, but that came in some happy mail. It's original. Vintage papers map. Um, this is a vintage book page, but it was fairly plain. So there's lots of writing, writing room on there. That pulls out quite a long way. So here's a pocket and I've got, I've made a layaway tag template, which is going to be going into the foxy rag. So yeah, the foxy rag is coming up and we had to, you know, we're relying on donations. So if you get your rag in a couple of weeks time, enjoy it, <laughs> enjoy it. Please do donate to our Kofi. And it's a really, really good issue this time. So I've got a little bird tag there with some stamping so we've got this double page spread they all have pretty much the same papers in so the papers in this one are pretty much the same as the previous one now this is a little double pocket and in here we have a little bird tag that I created but attached to the top one or I put this in but it kept falling down so there's a little envelope there little tag in a glassine bag these are the tags that I made recently flip out and this one the picture postcard that I put in here because this book was called three for luck I've put a little postcard in with three children so I wonder how much luck those children brought their parents lots I hope lots and lots of luck and a little tea card on a book page and um, we've got the vintage stamp paper more invoices, vintage note paper, diary page from 1969. We've got an envelope here. Um, I made a bit of a boo boo actually, um, but it's perfect for collaging. Um, this is original ephemera, but this piece that I folded, it's kind of split, and there's one of those in each of the journals, and they did the same thing. I, I folded them all before I actually realised what was happening. Um, but they're perfect for collage and I've used them 
and there's a little guest check and um, card, uh, school card. Big pages. There's two pockets in each one. They're all different. Um, there's one of those little notebooks with some papers in here. That goes in that little pocket there. Another piece of fold out. This is a little pocket with a journaling card in. Um, I made these for the journals. They're um, using the layered tags. Little postcard, a uh, little photograph there. Diary page. And then they all have a music paper envelope with a couple of little bits and pieces in the back of that. So that is journal A. So journal B, I'm just going to kind of show you the highlights really. I'm not going to flip through the whole notebook. This is number two. We've got the post, uh, the little, um, what do you call it? Um, what's that? Paper clip. Um, this is the library card that I created for this particular book. And those bits pop in the pocket. Um, so much, much the same. Um, they've all got a different made tag in the book pocket. Um, again, there's the envelope with the bits in. Um, there's one of the pockets. Um, again, same, same as the other one. One of my little tags. That's the photograph in this one. That's the pocket. All the same things. And again, the little pieces in the envelope at the back there. So that is journal B and C. Let's find it. These two have one inch rings. Okay. This one has a one and a quarter and so do the other two. So this is journal C. That's your library card for journal C. Paper clip, pocket. That's the postcard in this one. And the little pocket here. I haven't got anything in that pocket as yet. Let me find something. Okay, we've got a little file folder here. Let me put that in. Photograph, little um, tea card. There's your pocket, the double pocket. This one has the notebook in the glassine bag. That's the envelope in this one. Um, again, Ooh, oh, this is the one that actually opens, so the same bits in there. Little pocket, your book page pocket again. And here is the envelope made with the music paper, or music cover actually, they're all covers. So that's journal C. This is D, and again, same things. That's the little journal card. No, library card, even. It's so hot, and because I have to turn the fan off now to film. So this is the pocket in here. Same things, same things. <laughs> so there's the little photograph. Tag in the glassine bag, that's the postcard. Here's the pocket. The little fold out flap that I made in a previous video and there is the envelope at the back made with the music paper so that's D 
And finally, the larger of the, the journals, um, this is E. Exactly the same things in, obviously the just the pages are bigger. So there is the library card, the little um, paper clip, got the little slot pocket. This pocket here, got a little couple of little piece of ephemera stapled on there. A little tag there and the double pocket the envelope this got a window envelope in that one this is the book page with the tag in here's the picture postcard here just loved that little dog loved it tag A little photograph, glassine bag is this way round in this one with a little notebook in. There's the oh, the little hangy tag, samey, samey, and there's the little envelope at the back. So, those are the journals. I hope you like them. I absolutely had a ball making these. So, those will be in my shop on a Sunday. One of them may already be sold, but we, I'm not 100% sure yet, so I'll let you know on that. Okay, so yesterday I put out a new kit, which I had so much fun making. I'm just going to give you a very quick show of this. So um, I've printed these ones two, two per page. This is the actual size of them. So each page contains the same labels, but they may be resized and duplicated in different colours. So then the pages are the same labels, but not identically laid out. So we've got Dare Mail and Scare Mail. We've got Coast Cart. This is my favourite. Cart Ghost Style. Loved that. I was, I, I was so impressed with myself for coming up with these. Me and Jay had so much fun. Post Inspector, Deadly Handling, Spooky Delivery, Dead Drop, um, admit no one and second class vamp i just we did we just had so much fun we were just laughing for for hours so we're putting these together so um as you can see this is the blue page so it's similar same labels but you can see these are slightly smaller on here and they are duplicated they are bigger on here but they are still duplicated these ones are on here twice in different sizes and they're not on here but this one is duplicated so they're all same but different and they are standard label colours. So they're in the blue, the green, the red. And then I have done them in the neutrals and also the black. And I have to say, I absolutely love the black, which is why I think I printed two pages of the black in small. So I've got those to cut out. I have to thank the amazing Corey. Corey sent me a message and, say, and said to me, you know, could you just knock out a couple of labels with space to print with a stamp? Um, and she gave me a few kind of things that she wanted on them. These are only printed onto heavyweight cardstock. So they're not as vibrant as these. They would be if I'd printed them on photo paper, but I haven't because this is just for a demo. So the idea is you've literally got your space on your tags, your labels, to print whatever you like. So, for example, um, let's take article here. I'm going to grab a stamp block. And let's grab some ink. Okay. So I'm going to take this article. The label itself is red. So I'm going to do my stamping on this one in black. And I do all of my stamping before I cut them out, unless you had a specific reason for needing to cut them out first. So for this one, for example, where it says specimen, I'm going to have a quick look through my stamps. I've got my little fly. Um, I'm going to do him in red. Stamp it up. And put my stamp in um, and I've still got room to add something else so let's grab where's the toadstool stamps let's grab that put that on there
and there I've kind of layered that stamp to give it a little bit more depth so let's have a look at one of the others um oh I just love them it's not very often I make a kit and I just love it but this one I definitely did definitely did so just grabbed a number stamp here so I'm going to put that in the ticket type and price and it doesn't have to actually make any sense which it doesn't but it just looks cool um so let's take I'm going to use this specification one and I'm going to use my um field label stamp and I'm just going to ink up using my fingers that top half and I'm just going to lightly press that in there if you can see so it looks like there's some writing and then once that's cut out it will look fabulous but you obviously haven't got to worry about going over the lines so let's do another one I'm going to do another number I'm going to do this in red upside down so you get the idea I hope I hope you get the idea um, this percentage and it's probably not going to fit but I'm going to do it in blue and I'm just gonna type that over the percentage because I think it would look cool so all you've got to do is just grab your stamps any stamps but you can also hand write on these my handwriting is absolutely terrible. So I'm going to go to France via, uh, I'm just going to put UK because I don't actually know the name of the port, class, and I'm going to do first class and just type it in there. So my handwriting is absolutely terrible. Um, and I'm sure you could also put this page through the typewriter if you maybe cut it a little bit. You could use the typewriter to print some of your stamps. I was just so excited about these. Um, I really, really was. Thank you, Corey, for this fabulous idea because honestly, it just, I got so excited creating this kit. I had no intentions of doing another label kit um, because I was working on some Halloween stuff. I have a new label kit. So I'm going to put that in there because I can. And let's put another one in here. I'm going to go orange. Don't use orange enough. Okay, so I'm going to double this. I'm doubling this one up. So specimen, let's find a little number. Um, there's a little number. That's a little number. And I'm going to do the number in black. So kind of layering up my stamps. There we go. So that gives you an idea, just in case you didn't really know how how to use these. Um, that was very, very, very quick. <laughs> very quick. It's too hot. I'm so sorry. But I got I got really excited about these. Thank you, Corey. Thank you. Thank you for this fabulous idea. I'm going to now carry on and stamp, but I'm going to turn the camera off so I can put my fan back on. Please take care, everybody. Um, not only do we now have the heat to deal with, but we have flooding and torrential rain and thunderstorms. I'm, I'm hoping that we keep getting the rain. Um, please take care. The journals will be in my shop on Sunday at 4 p.m. I will put um, a link to my physical shop and the labels down below. Um, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.